Hello, this is Kristen at Servantech, and this tutorial video is going to cover how to use the main menu in Joomla 3.3. So one thing that um, is useful with setting up menus is making sure you can show users the sub-navigation so they always know where they are on your website. Um, if we take a look at the menu of this particular website, if we look under who we are, we'll see we have two options, our team and join us. If we were to navigate to the Our Team page, you'll see that we've set up a sidebar menu here that displays the sub-navigation items in this section of the website, the Who We Are section. So we're going to look at how to do that on the back end of your Joomla website and we'll click over to log into the back end. And the place that we're going to start with is by going to Menus and choosing the main menu. You'll notice um, we've set this up with some main level items as well as some sub-navigation items. Um, if we wanted to add a sub-navigation item, we would simply click the New button, and then we will give this item a title. Let's call it um, Where we are, let's just call it location, location, and we want this to appear in the contact, under the contact main level item. So I'm going to set this up as an article for now, um, just a single article, and we can go back and adjust this later. I'm going to select which article I want to link it to. And for now, I'll just click the contact article that I've set up in my article manager. And I'm going to want to change the parent item. So if you look over here on the right hand side, instead of this being a root level menu item, I'm going to change this to contact us. And when I save, it will leave the menu item open um, as opposed to if I click save and close, it'll automatically close me out of that item. But what we're going to do is flip back over to the front side of the website and I'm just going to refresh the page that we're on. And let's take a look at the contact us menu now. You'll see you have location listed under here. Um, you'll notice we do not have any sub-navigation on the side of this page because we haven't yet set that up. So uh, let's go back to the menu and since everything looks good, we can close this menu item. And then the next thing that we're going to want to do is add that sub-navigation to the contact section of the site. So in order to do that, we're going to need to set up a module. So we'll go to Extensions, and then we'll navigate to the Module Manager. And here in the Module Manager, we already have created a module called In This Section. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set up a new one just so you can see um, how this was created. The way that we'll do this is by going to New. And um, we're going to set up a menu. This is actually a menu. Now, once you've set this up the first time, you noticed I already had my In This Section module there in the Module Manager. You can use this for any section of the website if it's based on the same menu items. So um, these are all, for me, based on the main menu because I want to show my sub-level items that appear in the main menu. So let's give it a name. Um, we'll call it in this section. and. We are going to base it on the main menu, so you're going to select your menu. If you had another menu, maybe you have like a, a footer menu or something else that you're going to show sub-navigation of, you would just choose that from the menus that you've already created in the menu manager here from this drop-down. On this particular website, we only have created a main menu, so that's all that we see here. And we're going to choose a start level. Now, I want this to start on level 2, which is the first level below the main menu items, because I don't really need to show all of the menu items for the In This Section block. I just want to show the second level ones 
um, which are actually those items that appear in this section of the website. Um, I do want to show the title and um, I would want to show sub menu items however we don't have any below that second level this um, having this turned on would just allow you to see the third level as well fourth however many tiers you have there in your menu so um, now we need to choose what pages for that we want it to appear on so I don't want it on all pages I only want it on the pages I'm going to select and I just want to clear it so I can select them so I'm going to click select none here at the top and now, if I go down to the Contact Us page, this is where I want it to appear. Um, if you are using a template that has built-in styles, which this one um, is one that you can, you can use built-in styles, you'll want to append a module class suffix. Um, and that is determined by the uh, the person who created the template. So if you've created your own styles, um, you can add those here, and that will allow you to customize the look of the block. So on this particular website, I need to append a style called Outline 2, and that just um, draws the box around the module that you saw in the example on the front page. So um, the next thing that we'll need to do is choose what position we want this menu to appear in. So we've already um, adjusted the styling here, we've chosen which pages we want it to appear on, and then we also need to choose which position it's going to be displayed in. So the position is on the right hand side of the main page you get to when you create the module, and um, you'll need to find the name of your template um, this happens to be my template, and I'm going to choose the left side. Um, another way to find it, it's a little quicker, is if you just type in the word. Um, and there it is. So I'm going to save and close. And let's take a look at the front end. I'm going to need to refresh the page. And now you can see the In This Section module with the Location Subnavigation item. Now, um, you probably wouldn't be creating this if you only had one sublevel um, submenu item. However, um, it's really helpful when you have a list of subnavigation and you want people to be able to click around in between those items within the section and know they're always inside of the contact section. Maybe you want your heading instead of in this section um, to be something that uh, reveals what section they're actually in. So maybe you have contact at the top. Um, but that is the basic uh, tutorial for setting up your main menu items and adding subnavigation and then creating modules with subnavigation on the pages in the sections uh, where you want them to be displayed. So thanks for taking a look and I look forward to sharing some more instructions with you in the future.